One of the biggest mistakes I see a lot of beginners make when they start retouching a portrait is that they take the retouch too far and make the person look fake or plastic. Something you have to remember is that people have pores and imperfections. When we take those away, it just makes that person look fake. Thankfully, there is a method that is great for preventing this called frequency separation. What frequency separation does is it allows us to work on color and texture separately. Now, as always, I'll leave a link in the description where you can get the photo I'm using so you can follow along. So to use the frequency separation, the first thing we'll do is press Ctrl J on our background layer just to make a copy. And with that copy selected, we'll come up to filters and then frequency separation. Then we can zoom in here. And basically these settings are gonna be a little bit different for every photo, but essentially you just wanna move this radius slider around until you see a decent amount of texture with your high frequency on the left, and then pretty much all your texture is gonna be gone on the low frequency. So I'll just move this around until we get something that looks good. And I think something right around eight pixels is gonna be perfect for us. And then we'll just hit apply. So now you can see it created two different layers. We have a high frequency, which is like our texture, and then low frequency, which is gonna be our color. Now you can always double check and make sure you do this properly by selecting both of your layers, hitting Control or Command G just to group those layers. And then if you toggle that group on and off, you shouldn't see any change. But now we can actually get into editing and retouching our photo. So now inside this group, I'm gonna start out with the high frequency. So now what you can do is come over and select your healing brush tool or hit J on your keyboard to select that tool. And now all you have to do is hold down alt or option on a clean piece of skin. And then you can use your bracket keys to adjust the size of your brush. And you just wanna get it until it's just covering the blemish that you're trying to cover up. And then you can click and then that will cover up that texture. And then you just wanna repeat this for every little blemish that you see around your subject. Now a quick tip when you're doing this is that you always want to make sure that your selection is close to the blemish that you're trying to remove because if you select something that's on like a different part of the face, the texture might be a little bit different and you might be able to tell that because it won't blend as well. So you just want to make sure you're selecting something pretty close to the blemish that you're trying to remove. So now I think something like this will be a good starting point for our texture. We might notice that later on we have to go back and edit some things, which is totally fine. So now we can start working on the color or the low frequency layer. And basically the entire process is just about the same. You just want to select that healing brush and then you can zoom in and then select a nice part of the face. And then you can just paint over parts that look a little off or in this case, a little red. And you just want to repeat that just like we did with the high frequency. Now when you're doing this, something I wanted to show you too is you don't have to just remove blemishes and their color. You can also remove stuff like dark circles underneath the eye. So we can select a part and we can start painting over that as well so that we can start removing those dark circles. So now with that, I think this looks pretty good. And now we can see the before and the after. And I'll zoom in so you can get a little bit of a better look. So now it's the before and the after. And you can see just how powerful this tool can really be because everything we did still looks pretty natural. And there's one more thing I wanted to show you that this tool is great for, and that's actually smoothing out the skin because frequency separation will allow us to smooth out the skin, but keep the texture. To do this, you wanna grab your freehand selection tool here and make sure you still have the low frequency layer selected. So now we can come in. So I'm actually gonna feather this by quite a bit as well. I'm gonna put it probably somewhere around 200 and then we'll just make a quick selection around her forehead or so. And if you wanna see what your selection looks like, you can press Q and you can see we have quite a bit of feathering on there. So that should look fine. And then you just wanna come up to filters, blur, and then Gaussian blur. And with this, we can move this radius slider around until we get something that looks nice. And this is one of the cases where you do wanna be careful because you can overdo it at this point. For example, if we push the slider all the way over, it can really look a little weird compared to what it was before. So you just wanna make sure you don't overdo it at this point, but we can just move the slider around until we get something that looks good. I think something right around close to 10 pixels will look fine for this. And then we can repeat that on other parts of her as well. So we can select other things like her cheek. 
come up to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and then we can just adjust this around as well. And as you can see with this, we are pretty much smoothing out the skin and specifically like the highlights and shadows, but we are not affecting the texture at all. So it just makes it a lot harder to make the person look fake basically. All right, and I think with that, we're pretty much done. So now you can see the before and the after. And I hope you can see just how powerful this is because you can see that we still have texture in her skin and it doesn't really look fake or anything. But that pretty much does it for this video. If you guys found this helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. I hope you guys have a great day. See ya.